Hi, I'm Nick Moore and this is the new Kramer VP429H2. It's a compact switcher scaler which outputs at resolutions up to 4K60444. The VP429H2 can switch automatically between its four sources, either on a priority basis or last connected, and of course it also has manual and remote control. Another key feature of the product is its ability to send RS-232 commands to another device, e.g. a projector or a screen, in order to, say, switch that device on or off. And you can define the triggers that cause the RS-232 command to be sent via the built-in web page. On the front, you can see the two HDMI inputs, DisplayPort input and VGA computer graphics input, together with their manual input select buttons. We also have an audio jack which connects to an unbalanced stereo audio source and finally the step in button which you press to take control of an input that the device is connected to on a compatible Kramer switcher. On the back of the unit you can see the audio out connector which de-embeds audio from any one of the inputs. The Ethernet or RJ45 connector that connects to the LAN or if we want to we can control the unit via its built-in web pages through this port. We then have two RS-232 ports. The control port is for control of the VP429H2 and the data port is for control of other devices. The 5-pin terminal block gives the user the facility to cycle between the various inputs on the device to adjust the volume and to control the step-in functionality. Next we have the factory reset button which has two stages. A short press will reboot the device and a long press will reset to factory default settings. We have dip switches for setting the video and audio input behaviour a mini USB for programming the device, the HDMI output and 12 volt DC power connector. So in this demonstration we're going to show the VP429H2 turning on the sharp screen and it's going to turn on the sharp screen when it receives a signal from the laptop. So I'm going to plug the laptop in and we notice immediately that the sharp screen has turned itself on and in a second or two we'll get the signal. I'm just going to go through some features of the web interface of the VP429H2. The first page in the web interface is a manual switching ability where I can select between HDMI 1, HDMI 2, DisplayPort and VGA. You'll notice when I select VGA I have the ability to edit the VGA phase. You also have a volume control. On the device settings page I can change the IP address. I can set it to be a DHCP address or a static address and I can change its TCP number or factory reset the IP settings. We have the control settings page which I will go into further later. Video and audio settings. This allows me to select which video input has priority. For example if I want the VGA connection to be priority I can just click and drag this to the top and VGA will take priority on the unit. The output resolution can be set to automatic or a set output resolution. The automatic mode will use the EDID of the output screen. And here we have the ability to <coughs> enable and disable HDCP support for the two HDMI inputs and the DisplayPort input. And at the bottom of the web page we can set the timeout settings. On the authentication page we can change the 
password required to access the web interface, the EDID management page allows us to save an EDID onto any of the three inputs from the output. We can also upload an EDID file. The firmware upgrade page allows us to update the firmware and show us the current firmware. And the about page just gives us more, um, a general overview. Then we go to the control settings. And this is where you can set up the RS-232 configuration. For the sharp display in this demonstration, we're using the 9600 board rate. Here I can set the trigger to, um, to activate on 5 volt detection or clock or both. For the on command, I can set how many seconds delay in, from when I plug in the HDMI to when it sends the command. In this case, I want it to be instant, so I'm going to leave it at zero. And the command for this display is like so. And to put in a carriage return, I can just tap this button here and it puts in the hex command for me. Give it a description of power on and hit save. I can then do the same for the off command. and then just hit save and then it gives me the option to test them to make sure I've got them right. So I'm just going to test my commands are working using this test button. So let's just test the on command. And that's working. So let me just test the off command. And the screen went off. We're just going to do a short demonstration showing the VP429H2 automatically switching between the Kramer 861 test pattern generator, which you can see on the display here, and my laptop. So at the moment, the 861 is connected, and now I'm going to connect my laptop, and the VP429H2 is automatically switching to the signal, and there we have it on the screen. Of course, we can use the old-fashioned traditional manual way of switching to HDMI 1. So now my laptop will become live on the display and then back to HDMI 2, which is the 861 test pattern generator. For more information on Kramer's range of switches and scalers and all our other products, please visit our website. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.